Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new series. This series is going to teach you everything you need to know about C-Sharp programming language. We are going to learn C-Sharp without any specific development in mind, though I come from a working environment that has to do a lot with game programming, artificial neural networks and artificial intelligence. And this lesson series could be used as a starting point for these programming branches. Or not. This series we're going to apply to pretty much anyone, whether you are a beginner or an advanced. I will cover the very basics of the language, but I'm also going to be partially concise about it in some places. And what this means is that if you are a complete beginner with no previous experience regarding any programming or coding, you will be able to feel pretty comfortable following the lessons. However, one of the major required skills of programmers is related to being able to identify, understand, document and fix problems and issues that will be a companion for the entire programmer's career. Programmers do not have some teacher that will give them the answers to their problems every time they run into them and they just give up. So you will have to be able to Google things, do some research and find some of the really basic stuff for yourself, where I will consider that a true, complete beginner could easily find the answer to a specific issue just by Googling. Basically, just be a normal person and Google things that you don't understand and not lazily wait for others to do it for you. Just remember that the key to actually learn something is to really write stuff, write codes, try stuff for yourself, experiment, allow yourself to mistake and try fixing those mistakes and most important having the willingness to learn. So why this series, why yet another series of lessons about programming? Aren't there a ton of tutorials already done? Well, yeah, but one might argue about the beginner friendliness of the vast majority of them. Most tutorials assume some previous experience already acquired, some other use a very academic and official language that no one understands. So in this series, I will try to teach programming for the really, really beginner user who have no clue other than just turning on the computer and using Facebook. Okay, maybe just a little bit more than that. You should at least know how to install a program. Finally, why C Sharp? Never heard of it before. Why this obscure language and why not some more better sounding one such as C++ something? I heard it's really good. Oh, and yeah, that Java thing too? Heard about it before? Why not those? Well, relax. C Sharp is actually quite popular today. It ranks in top 5 programming languages worldwide and can be used to do almost everything. Why do I say almost? Because they are really advanced, low-level stuff that cannot be done in it, such as drivers, kernels, and other really specialized things, which you will never do as a beginner anyway. So, what can you do with C-Sharp? You can do computer programs for Windows. You can do websites for the Internet. You can create 2D and 3D games in Unity 3D. You can create programs that are cross-platform for iOS and Linux. You can create mobile applications for Android. Need anything more? Another reason for choosing C-Sharp is the fact that it is sufficiently high-level language. And what this does mean is that you will have a lot of stuff already available and you won't have to reinvent the wheel. Also consider that there are literally tons of websites and forums where you can get assistance and you will see my point. As a bonus, C Sharp is a language derived from the C and C++ ancestor languages and hence it inherits their syntactic style and some concepts from them. This means that once you master C Sharp, you can easily switch to one of those languages or the other languages that were born from them or have things in common such as Java, PHP, etc. Aside of that, C Sharp tends to be slightly faster than Java. This is just a personal belief. And the fact that Visual Studio is probably the most advanced and complete IDE out there, and you have your answers why C Sharp. I will not be able to record videos on a daily basis, but I will try to do my best in releasing them at least on a constant pass. Other than that, this series should be an absolute blast.
I'm really looking forward to it. Let's do it guys. Let's learn C sharp correctly. I will see you in the next video. Bye.